Hi, Deb. Hi, Luca. How are you? Hello. What's up? Hey, mate. How's it going? You all right? Yeah. So good. So good. It's a great honor to have you on our live stream. Oh, so. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. And, so uh, so where, in, where in Italy are you then? Yeah. 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 Where, 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 where in Italy are you? Yeah, and uh, uh, in Italy, we are in Italy. Yeah, wh where, where? Um, near uh, Bologna, uh, near uh, Bologna, between uh, Bologna and um, Milan. Okay. Milano, Milano. You're supposed to play okay. in uh, Padova. Yes, yeah. In Padova, yeah, this summer um, is uh, very, what? next, next year, I hope. <laughs> we we all hope so. We all hope so. Yeah, yeah. And uh, welcome to our live stream. It's a great honor to have you on our live stream because Idols think is one of the best band uh, around today. Maybe the best well, one. Well, so, you're you're too kind. Thank you. There's a lot of there's a lot of good bands around at the moment. So. That means a lot. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Idol's new album, Ultramono, will be released to Partizan Record in September. And uh, the first three singles, Mr. Motivator, Grounds and uh, Hahim, are yeah. really incredible. And I really love this song. So, can you tell me more about Idol's new record? Um, yeah, so we recorded it in France uh, at La Fret Studios, which was where uh, I think Arctic Monkeys did the previous album or the one before. Uh, Nick Cave's worked there before, and we, we went in with uh, Nick Lornay and Adam Greenspan um, for a couple of weeks um, last September and got it done. It was a beautiful, a beautiful area. Um, yeah, it was a really, really wonderful experience for all of us. Um, yeah, it was, it was magic, you know. I'm excited for everyone to hear it. Yeah, can, can, uh, can stop to listen to the first single and I listen to War on YouTube, the first, oh, for... uh, the first uh, song of the record. It's a really kick-ass. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Was that the was that one of the live versions from the tour by any chance? No. From uh, yeah. the Doctor Martin uh, Benefit show in uh, December of the last year. Oh uh, yeah, 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 man! It was uh, I can't. Yeah, we we played it um, at Alexandra Palace. It was the first track we played for that set, and yeah, it was it was. You, it was, you knew it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a good set opener, <laughs> you know, when yeah. we wrote it. Yeah. Because of the fucking COVID-19, the whole world has yeah. really changed. Have you composed anything in this time? Yeah, we've been, um, we've been, basically, we've been kind of learning different ways to write music because we couldn't all be together, but we, we had all this time spare you know it's, you, we were afforded a lot of time to be able to write some music so uh, like we all kind of got on ableton and we were all learning about how to kind of produce stuff ourselves and record at home and just be able to come to the come to the table with some ideas for the next record or, or whatever it's going to be you know and we yeah it's been a good learning curve it's been it's been fun, you know, just being able to sit there and stuff that you you kind of take for granted in a studio and you don't really, you know, you it's it's all well and good kind of looking over a producer's shoulder and being like, oh yeah, I think I know what he's doing, but until you're actually sat there and you're forced to do it yourself, yeah. like, yeah, it's good, it's good. So yeah, we've been writing at home a lot, and um, I don't know what it's like in Italy, but we've had. Um, we've had the opportunity to be able to go back in to the studio and start like rehearsing together 
um, with social distancing and stuff. And we, yeah, we've, it's been fun to be able to, you know, get back in a room and, and turn your amp up a little bit and not annoy the neighbours. <laughs> yeah. But this quest, I still this question. I don't like uh, marshmallow. But I steal this question from the last episode of the Bally TV, the amazing yeah. show of your friend Joe Talbot. So, yeah. what are the three people, living or dead, that you would like to invite to the last party on Earth? Well, th this is a difficult question, Lika. And I was thinking about this before I came on, and I was like, well, it'd be great to kind of, you know, meet some of your heroes and stuff. And, you know, it'd be great to say like, oh, I'd, I'd really love this person here, but it's the last, it's the last party on earth. I want my nearest and dearest with me. And I don't, I want to give them my full attention. I don't want to be distracted by some people that I don't, you know, I might not, you know, that I don't know that I just might love their art or I love their philosophy or, or their political stance or whatever it is, you know, but I think just spending it with your nearest and dearest and having a good time and really getting to know them. That's, that's what it means. You know, that's, and that's, that's, that would be my ideal party. I think. Yeah. Right. Who right. would yours be? Who would you have at yours? My three, my three is Tom Waits. Okay. And, uh, oh, Jeff Feynman. Okay, yeah. And, uh, and Charles Bukowski. Charles Bukowski? Yeah, yeah. Because I yeah. really like Bukowski. I, I, I hope you'd have enough alcohol for Bukowski. There, there better be a lot of whiskey in your party, man, because if not, he is going to get angry, you know? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, speaking of musician, what are your three family best player ever? Mad, what? Sorry, you broke up then slightly. Um, uh, what are your three best yeah. favorite best player ever? Oh, my three favorite bass players. So, okay. So, Peter Hook from Joy Division is my number one, really, because. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have picked up a bass guitar in the first place. Oh. And Joy Division um, are just such an incredible, wonderful band. And New Order as well, you know, such a great band. Um, so, yeah, I'd have to say definitely, definitely him. Um, JJ from... JJ from The Stranglers, I think his tone is... Yeah, just incredible. It's something that I have tried and failed to emulate on many occasions. And there's just something about the the way it was recorded. Um, it, it just sounds so sharp and cutting. It's it's incredible. I think the last one. Do you know Tyler Pope from um, LCD Sound System? Yeah. Yeah, so he, he, he was the bassist uh, in Chick, Chick, Chick for, I think, for their first record, a couple of EPs and stuff. And the, the bass work that he does is just absolutely incredible. Um, he, you know, he's a very versatile person. He's quite funky kind of stuff, but it's great, man. Like, it's so good. And, like, I love LCD Sound System and I love Chick, Chick, Chick and... Yeah, uh, he's um, yeah, he's definitely in my top three for sure. Awesome, awesome, nice. And what are your three favorite band? Just three. See, Luca, this is a this is a difficult question, my friend, <laughs> because you can ask me right this second, yeah. and I'll say three bands. You could ask me tomorrow morning, and I could say a, a whole other three bands. Yeah, I understand. So, so, at this present moment in time, yeah. I would say my favourite three bands are Mogwai. Oh, wow. Uh, I've just said LCD Town System, so they're on my mind. So I'm not going to say them. Ah, Mogwai, Super Furry Animals. Yeah. 
Okay, yeah, cool, man. I like and, it. And uh, I mean, it's got to be Joy Division. Joy Division would always be in there. You know, they would always be around and about. So yeah, Joy Division. Yeah. Joy Division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing band. It's always amazing. Yeah, no. But if you ask me tomorrow, you know, like I, I love Spiritualized would be very close. I think I've listened to that band more than any other. You know, I keep going back to that record or their records. Um, Beat a band I've got a very, very strong feeling for. Um, yeah, man. Like, that's the thing about music, isn't it? It's like you, you have these, like, bands that just fit this moment in time and they fit your mood and they fit what exactly that you want out of that experience so then you can you know tomorrow it will completely change and it's the fluidity that i love about music and how it can um affect you as a person and heighten your mood or or bring you down when you want to be brought down it's it's a powerful thing and yeah i don't know so yeah putting it into like Three bands is very tough. Yeah, yeah. I understand that very well. It's the same for me. Uh, because yeah, today... Man. I mean, like, T Tears uh, for Fears would be up there as well, you know? It's like, that band are absolutely stunning. And, like, Kate Bush and... No. Fuck, there's so much good stuff, man. Like, so much good stuff. Yeah. yeah. What about you? What's your What's your favourite three? Or top three at this moment? My favorite is uh, Per Jam. And... Uh, Obviously. Ramones. Okay, yeah. And always Tom Ways. Tom Ways is always on top because I really like his uh, music and uh, and um, and his songs. And I really like Tom Ways. But tomorrow See, I, I, I can uh, uh, I can change uh, yeah. to idols. Yeah. Idols and uh, Ramos and Tom Ways. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So I've I've found Tom Waits quite a um, quite a hard person to get into because there's so much stuff. Yeah. It's it's kind of like you know when I was trying to get when I was first discovering Nick Cave, no. like tr trying to start somewhere is like very very difficult, you know and. Um, where would you suggest I start with Tom Waits then? Yeah. As yeah. as someone that isn't too familiar with this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I Nick Cave, I really like uh, Nick Cave. Uh, have you seen a uh, Nick Cave later show uh, on YouTube? Recorded on uh, in London, I think. I oh, was at the Alexandra Palace show. I I think, but um, the, the the recent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, one. yeah, yeah. No, I've I've not had a chance to see it yet. Is it good? Yeah, it's amazing. Just him and his piano, and it's beautiful. So beautiful. It's amazing. Amazing the show. You must. He, he's he's an incredible songwriter. You know, he's uh, he's he's kind of the last of a uh, last of that kind of ilk of rock star. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, when Pearl Jam uh, became famous, there were part of a scene, the yeah. simple one, you know. And I think Idols, Fountains DC, Shame, The Murder Capital, The Heavy Lungs, and more, are part of a new music scene, the best, I think, in the recent years. Do you feel as a member of this scene or do you prefer to see idols as a group on its own? Well, I think kind of tonally what's happened like within um, Britain um, and the Western world in general over the last 10 years, um, has been kind of disaffected with politics, with um, a lot of things happening um, in their day-to-day -day lives, which has, has kind of brought everything back from it being 
where music is always about partying and going out and having a great time. And, you know, like life isn't like that for so, so many people. So I think that there's a lot of um, people who are picking up guitars again and having bands um, reflecting what they feel inside, you know? I, I mean, we've, we've been going for, you know, 10, 12 years um, and we've been doing our own thing for a long time. And we've met people along the way that have, a similar outlook, whether it's politically or tonally in music or uh, the aggressiveness of uh, either the lyrics or whatever it is. And we've all had our own separate experiences and our separate um, lives and to get us to this point. But you meet people on the way who are similar to you. And like, that's where that whole scene thing comes from. You know, like we, we never, you know, we didn't grow up with Fontaines. We didn't, you know, we didn't, we, you know, we didn't grow up with Murder Capital. We're, you know, heavy lungs. We know from Bristol, but we didn't grow up with them. We, we don't know their experiences and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just great that there's so many like-minded people out there who, who feel the same as you do nowadays. And you can, you know, you have this counterpoint with people. Um, it's a wonderful thing, man. There's so many, like, you know, even before we kind of, like, got, you know, before you guys would have heard about us, for, about us, for example, it's just so much good stuff coming out of America with, like, Mets and and A Place to Bury Strangers and, ba and Preoccupations and bands that we'd looked up to for a long, 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 long time. You know, that they had a similar outlook that we had, and they were doing their own thing on the other side of the world, you know? It's, so, yeah, I think collectively it's a tonal thing, but, you know, we're all trying to do our own thing and, you know, just, 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 I don't know, just try and play some fucking great music, you know? Yeah. 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 And uh, speaking of Pearl Jam, you should have uh, opened at the, some of their show in uh, Europe this summer. Yeah, but whatever. Now, Pearl Jam have announced a new uh, European tour for next summer. Will we see idols with them on uh, some show? I mean, s sadly, you are asking the wrong person, Luca. I play bass in the band. I don't really know what's going on, if I'm being honest. I get told where to go. Um, so, yeah, I, I can't answer that one, my friend, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> Really? I hope so, though. I hope so, though, because, like, you know, it's it's a big thing to support Pearl Jam. You know, it's um, it's such a a big band that means so much to people, and you know, they're 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 they're, they're good guys that do good things. You know, they're very you know they're very cool guys. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to do something. I really, you know, fingers crossed. I guess. Yeah, yeah, cross the finger. Yeah. I really hope to see Pearl Jam with idols on the whole fucking tour because I want to see your band as much as I love uh, see Pearl Jam as the year. So I really hope for it. How many, how many times have you seen Pearl Jam? Um, I, I don't understand. How, how many times have you watched Pearl Jam play? Ah, 30, 30 years, 30, wow. yeah, and uh, wow. the first time was in uh, 1996, if I remember correctly, and uh, I, 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 I saw, I saw for them very, 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 <coughs> very times, and I, um, always uh, attend the opening act because I think it's the whole experience from, okay, Pearl Jam is a great band and so, but uh, the opening act is, I think, is always the best thing to see in uh, some show. I saw, I remember in uh, 2006, I saw My Morning Jacket uh, before Pearl Jam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that band. Wow, it's fucking amazing, and I uh, is a dream to see uh, idols um, 
the name Idols before Brazil. In, uh, yeah, well, it's a shame, man. We we were looking forward to it a lot, a lot. Yeah. But hopefully, it will come again. You know, hopefully. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and uh, thanks for joining our live stream. I can see to wait to hear Ultra Mono because uh, I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, man, we're we're excited to be able to give it to everyone. You know, it's been a. Uh, yeah, we we're very proud of it. It's uh, it's a it's a fucking great record, if we do say so ourselves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I uh, really hope to see you live next year. Really I'm hope. sure it will happen, my friend. Let's uh, let's just stay safe and hope for the best, eh? Yeah, yeah. And uh, thanks again. You're great, Dad. You're very uh, my good. pleasure, Luca. Thank you for having me. And uh, see you soon. Take care, my man. Take care. Bye, man. Bye, mate.